if you've never wanted to put a chicken on skis before, you're just not human. And this leads us to 4.4 4 number one. In this situation, your dream has come, come true. You've had the opportunity to put your pet on skis. Now, what's that going to look like? Well, in my case, it's going to have a beak, a little something here. It's going to probably have a little snow hat. And, of course, it's going to be on skis. Right? So there is, there's your chicken on skis. Oops, I guess I'm missing a few other things. And, um... There's our chicken on skis. I guess the chicken also has wings, which, which somehow hold um, holes. Okay, chicken on skis. Okay, we're ready. All right, now, the question about putting your pet on skis is how much force is going to be required to actually make your pet move? So we're trying to find the force of friction Required. Now this is in order to get your pet to move. The pet's not moving yet, so is a static friction or kinetic friction? Well, it's static friction, right? So, force of friction is equal to mu static times the normal force. Well, how do I find the normal force? Now this is going to be level ground. So, the normal force pushing up on the chicken is going to be equal to the force of gravity pushing down on the chicken. And every earthling should know how to find the force of gravity. So that would be mu static times your mass times 9.8. 9.8 earthlings, yes? 9.8. Let us get started. So, force of friction here is still going to equal. Now, I found out the static friction of waxed wood on wet snow is 0 0.14 and the mass of my chicken is 3.2 kg times 9.8 earthlings come on where else do you find skiing like the skiing you got on earth really honestly come on so multiply them together um, force of friction is equal to 0 0.14 32 3.2 times 9.8 happens to be 31.36 and that would be newtons multiply the two together force of friction times and we get the force of friction is equal to 4.39 now by the way two sig figs two sig figs two sig figs this has got to be two sig figs so the force of friction required to get a chicken on skis to move is going to be 4.4 Newtons. Now let me just say something. If your pet is something heavier than a chicken, gravity is still going to be the same. The coefficient of friction will still be the same, but the mass will be bigger. And by extension, the amount of force required to push your pet will be bigger. Obviously, it takes a lot more energy to push an elephant on skis than a chicken on skis. But I hope you've had fun with this, okay? Thank you very much.